said, oh, but life's unfair, yeah. It, it, you know, a bloke round our way, he won the lottery the other week. I can't believe it. I was round his house, I said, I said to him, I said, you must be sick of all these people pretending to be your best mate just because you got a few bob. And uh, he said to me, he said, uh, who are you? <laughs> I said, it's Paul from down the road. Funny how money changes people, isn't it? <laughs> but they like that round our way, they're really, really miserable. You know, my next door neighbour is obsessed with my garden. He was out there the other day saying, when are you going to move that fridge off your lawn? <laughs> I said, I'm not green-fingered like you. <laughs> he said, well, what's it doing there? I said, it's a conversation piece. <laughs> he said, no, it's not. I said, well, stop fucking talking about it then. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I've had a funny year, I have, because... Earlier this year, for the first time in a, in a long time, I, I fell in love. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I met this wonderful, wonderful woman. She was working in Greg's at the time. First time I saw her, she was wiping the dead flies off the windowsill. I was all tongue-tied, I didn't know what to say. I, I said, what's in the meat pies? She said, it's non-specific meat. <laughs> well, I was smitten. I whisked her off her feet. I took her on a romantic date to Oldham Municipal Baths. <laughs> we didn't care. We were running, jumping, diving, bombing, ducking, petting. We broke all the rules. <laughs> a wonderful woman. Wonderful, wonderful woman. She had seven kids, all by different dads. <laughs> Grown up they are now, lovely lads. Whenever we get together, it's like the UN. There's Sean, Ishmael, Ahmed, Yoko, Wooden Horse, Dr Singh and Keith. <laughs> she used to have a family allowance delivered by Securico. <laughs> yeah, wonderful woman. Yeah, short legs and no neck, you know, but what a personality. <laughs> Her measurements were 34, 34, 34. She looked like SpongeBob SquarePants in a dress. <laughs> Yeah, but I loved her. And then one day she broke the news to me. She said, Paul, she said, I've got someone to tell you. She said, I'm married. Well, I was devastated. I said, I said, what does he do, this, this husband of yours? She said, he works in the white goods department at Comet. I said, I can't compete with that. <laughs> anyway, we, we split up. Yeah. I saw her a few months later in the car park at Morrison's putting three full bags of shopping into the boot of a Citroen Saxo. She was out of my league. 